Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today I want to review MotoGP 2021. Now this game has been out for about three weeks now and I bought it on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X for this review. So we're going to talk about visuals, we're going to talk about sound, and we're going to talk about um, performance and I'm going to give you my thoughts on if if sim racers and amateur sim racers should pick this game up and why I think that's a good idea for them. So let's talk about visuals first um, between the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. So with the With the Xbox Series X, I have it on. I have the PS5 version up right now. So, with the PS5 version, it does look a little bit softer. Maybe like it's 1800p and not running at a native 4K. Um, you definitely get a better draw distance on the Xbox Series X version, and for some reason, the colors on the PlayStation 5 version just look kind of washed out um, they look more uh, they look more rich in tone on the Xbox Series X version and the uh, the details a little bit more crisp on the Xbox Series X version but if you've never seen both of these side side by side um, both of them look pretty pretty good I mean the PlayStation 5 version does look a little bit softer but I mean that's that's really that's really a nitpick um, on on my part and something that I feel like you have to look at really really closely you know look at both versions you know side by side to really see because if I hadn't seen the Xbox Series X version I think this one here looks fine too um, they both look they both look pretty good I mean the colors on the Series X version do look a lot more, um, a lot more, um, gosh dang it, what's that word? Vivid. They look a lot more vivid than they do on the PlayStation 5 version. The PlayStation 5 version does look, um, a lot more washed out color wise, almost like it's running in SDR, but I mean, it's on an, it's on an HDR TV with, uh, with um, the settings on the PlayStation 5 menu set pretty close to the way I have them set on my Xbox, so so I don't know. Maybe maybe it's a bug. Maybe it's something that um, the developer needs to look into. But this game's had a couple patches now, and the reason why I waited so long to do my review is because I wanted to get um, an accurate feeling for both for both of these versions and get a little bit of time with each one. Um the uh oh yeah and some side notes i mean the the career the career mode does look like it's pretty in depth there's definitely more changes you know like brakes and um tire wear and stuff like that and they do definitely add to the to the experience it's it's definitely a bit, little better i do like that i can go to the to the pit and um you know kind of kind of have a choice you know like a drop down menu to 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 have the uh the pit crew you know adjust my bike you know to the way to the way i think it feels that's pretty cool i, li I like that feature um i wish more sim games would have that in them as well because it definitely does you know make the adjustments for you and you know you you don't have to get in there and tweak around stuff and seeing as I'm pretty new to bike racing games I don't really know know all the nuances and what would make the the bike feel better so as a newcomer that's that's pretty cool but it definitely gives me the the reason to I mean it definitely gives me a reason to want to learn more about how bikes feel and operate but as for right now I'm 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 pretty satisfied with with the uh with the overall layout of the game you know when it comes to to features and um content I, I i feel like this is a pretty good i feel like it's got enough content to justify the price tag for sure 
Um, now back to visuals for a minute. I mean, the, the PlayStation 5 version does look decidedly, you know, I mean, like the farther you get away from the rider, the more the more things start to, to blur out. And I mean, that's not a bad thing. I mean, it, like if you're when you're when you're playing and you're racing, it, it doesn't you, you can't really tell too much. Um, the rider and the bike, everything is highly detailed. The you could definitely tell that the Xbox version has has more detail, looks more. Uh, it looks more dense, if that makes sense. It definitely. I mean, either way you go on visual wise, you'll you'll probably be happy as as long as you don't see the other version. You know, you'll you'll definitely. You'll definitely be happy with the way it looks. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blame most of that on this being a cross-gen game, though. Having to be made for multiple systems. So I just, I'm going to chalk the, the visual features up to that. And hopefully um, it will grow with the next iteration of this game. Hopefully they'll bring, you know, more um, visual stuff to the game, to the experience and make it a little bit, a little bit better. Um... <clears throat> Let's talk about sound now. These bikes sound amazing. Uh, this Repsol, oh my gosh, it it sounds good. I, I like the sound of this. It definitely sounds better than Moto GP20. Um, and even Ride Four, I I feel like this is a this is a pretty decent uh, thing. Like the sound. I don't know if you can hear that, but. The bikes sound more throaty, more punchy, more, uh, more, uh, it, it definitely helps. It, it, it definitely sounds a lot better than, than last year. That's, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure there's some side-by-side -side videos out there comparing, you know, the sound of all the bikes and like this one sounds good. And that's one of the things you're going to notice that it's, it's the little things about this, this version, uh, this, um, this iteration that really make it stand out you know like with the animations of the riders there's little nuances now that um that you never really saw before i mean there's little you know more uh there's there's better movement better a better feel it it's really it's really nice to look at it definitely helps that that new uh that the that these new animations have been added to the game it really does make everything looked just that much that better um let's get on to performance performance on this game is solid on either version it doesn't matter which one you're playing it is solid it looks good it feels good there's no screen tearing there's no there's no bugginess there's no like it it looks good there's i mean popping is really limited like you don't see a whole lot of popping and it looks good it it definitely it performs really really well i mean it's a solid 60 frames a second everything feels good input feels good input latency feels good on this game it it definitely is where it should be i mean i bet with these new consoles they could probably drop this to 1080p maybe 1440p and hit 120 frames a second and that would be really really great but as console people, we've never really had that before. We never, we never really had, you know, solid performance out of out of our consoles. Whereas now, that's something. I I honestly believe that that's something we can expect now, in terms of performance on games. I feel like we can expect that. I feel like sixty frames is the the new thirty, and one twenty is the new, uh, you know, hopefully we can hit it type deal. Like because. <laughs> I mean that is really nice and if you have a tv capable of you know doing the 120 um i'll tell you what wrc9 on in 120 frames a second looks looks and feels amazing it it is great <clears throat> so i mean with the performance of this game i'm 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 happy with it you get a, a solid crisp looking experience at a stable frame rate which is extremely important on a racing game and even more important on a bike racing game there's a lot more 
there's a lot more to learn when it comes to bike racing than there is you know a car a car you can usually um there's a lot more movement involved in in bike racing a lot more subtle um control that you need to have when it comes to to bike racing than you do in a car and <clears throat> the the performance and the visuals of this game just make that just make that even more apparent you know you hit the brakes too hard you're going over the handlebars you pull back too much and you're gonna you're gonna wheelie you know i mean there's just so many different things that you need to factor in when racing bikes that just aren't a aren't an issue or even thought of in a car so in my opinion that that helps you learn the tracks and a whole more a lot more intimately which is why i believe that if you are an amateur sim racer or somebody that is just getting into sim racing or wants to take it more seriously i highly recommend moto gp 21 to you to help you learn learn patience because in sim racing you need patience you need you need consistency and so with having a the moto gp series you know to to help teach you that i mean it's going to be frustrating it, it is frustrating you know to to play this to play this sometimes and had it not been for um dr ace he's a he's a youtuber he makes a lot of videos on these um on these bike games and his his instruction is amazing i highly recommend that if you're new to this series you definitely watch a couple of his training videos to to better yourself to to learn how to control these bikes i mean you're not gonna they're not gonna hear me tell you how to do that because what i learned was from him and that will be for him to explain to you but i will definitely always recommend watching dr ace's videos on how to control these bikes because his help was amazing and it has definitely turned games that were basically unplayable into things that i can that i can better myself with and yeah for that i'm 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 ever grateful to him dr ace don't forget watch one of his videos so my review on this game is definitely definitely good i would give this a, a solid nine as a newcomer to the series i am satisfied with the experience on both consoles i am satisfied with the the visuals i'm satisfied with the sound and i think that you will be too so i do recommend this game and if you like this content don't forget to like and subscribe for future con for and we'll see you in the next video thanks bye